back to on the workbench. For today's project, we're going to be doing a home energy audit, um, or at least I'm going to show you the basics on how you can do that with a few simple tools. So today's workbench is going to be inside the kitchen, and in front of me, I have a kitchen toaster. A kitchen toaster uses an electric heating element, which is known for drawing a fair bit of energy. And as we all try to get a little more green and trying to figure out, oh, what are ways that we, uh, to determine how much energy an appliance is using? So the simple answer to this is simply to use in, uh, an AC clamp meter. And so you might have something that looks like this that you can clamp around uh, one of your cords. And then the, uh, the uh, meter will then be able to determine how much amperage is flowing through the cords. And then you can work out the mathematics to figure out, well, based on that, uh, how many amps is this appliance drawing? And so in this case, a, a toaster provides an obvious answer because the heating element we know is going to draw quite a few amps. But then we look at the cord here. In order for a clamp meter to work, it actually has to go around either the common or the hot wire. But most toasters tend to have a solid wire like this. Now this one, I suppose, I could actually split apart and open up. But I don't think that would look very nice in the kitchen to have that opened up for my clamp meter to go around. So we've got a simple solution to that. And that's going to be the AC line splitter. So it looks a little funny and looks like this. On one side, we've got this X1 and X10 side. And so on the X10 side, it's going to multiply our readings by 10. The X1 side, it's just multiplied by 1. We also have a couple little spots here that we can input uh, some test leads to verify that we got our 110 or 120 volts of current coming through. Um, in this case here, this is good up to about 600 volts. Uh, and according to the package, uh, about 15 amps maximum. Uh, so just, but uh, most household circuits uh, top out at about 15 amps, with the exception of some of your bathroom circuits that might top out at 20 amps. Uh, a lot of your bathroom hair dryers uh, do tend to be 20 amp hair dryers. Um, so just uh, be warned that it may not work with a hair dryer, but we can use this for other appliances. And so the way this is going to work is we're going to take our toaster cord and we're going to plug this into the end. You notice into this actually has a polarized outlet, so a cord only fits in it one way. And so now our cord that's solid now is split over here into the hot and the common side. And now we can fit our clamp meter around one side of it. And so we'll go to the side that multiplies our reading by 10. And we can take this and plug it directly into the outlet with our clamp meter attached, just like that. So it looks a little funny. And then I'm going to set up my clamp meter, in this case here, one millivolt equals one amp. And since I have this on the times 10 side, we turn this on here to volts AC, and then we're going to adjust the scale. So now with the toaster plugged into the wall, uh, with the toaster in the off position, uh, this is reading uh, 0.51 amps, so that's drawing about half an amp, just a ghost uh, current that's just being drawn in. Remember, we got to divide this by 10, because I've got my clamp meter wrapped around the X10 side. You can wrap this around either side, the X1 or the X10, and you can wrap it around the right side or the left side. It doesn't matter. The clamp meter works the same. And so now I'm going to come over to my toaster, and rather than toasting something, I'm just going to just turn this on idly, and then this is going to heat up. And we're going to put this over here so you can watch the meter here read. And remember, we have to divide this by 10, so we're about 7.5 amps right now. And so now as my toaster is heating up, I can see it's drawn about 7.4 amps-ish of current. And just to see what that looks like, we can see the elements here starting to glow. This is on setting about three and a half, 7.3. And then now if I pop up the bread, then now we can see with the heating element going off, now it's dropped all the way down to uh, 0.14 amps. And it's oscillating a little bit here as it goes around. And so we're back down to just an idle ghost current here now of about 0.14 amps. That's being drawn just with the plug just sitting in the outlet 
of uh, so-called phantom power. Okay, just for comparison purposes here, we're going to run the same procedure and test a blunder with the amp meter. And so again, I'm on the times 10. I'm going to have to connect the blunder power cord into the AC line splitter. And then we'll plug that all together into the wall. And with that in the wall, this is still in the times 10. So we're drawing about 0.3 amps here at phantom current. And so now let me turn on the blender. You can watch the spike in the current. Remember, you have to divide it by 10 because we're on the 10 uh, times loop of the uh, current. So let me just turn this on to, uh, how about the ice crush button here on my blender? So now after dividing my 10, that topped out at about 1.5 amps. Let me change over to the smoothie button. And you can see that live readout there. And then if we want to be, uh, depending on your multimeter, you may be able to have a function where it'll uh, show the max uh, or it'll show uh, a relative value where you could re-zero it at the phantom base value to see what the current spike is. So for my test setup here, I've got a clamp meter that plugs into my multimeter. Um, so I'm not using anything uh, special. I'm just using a general multimeter and the line splitting tool and the AC uh, current clamp uh, to be able to make this uh, designation. So I hope you found this useful if you're going around your house trying to figure out how much current is being drawn by various appliances. You can follow this technique uh, and this set of tools to be able to calculate your power consumption. Hope you found this useful and have a great day.